Hey everybody, I'm here with another Jurassic review and this time it's the Jurassic Park 3 React Attack Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now this was the main T-Rex released as part of the Jurassic Park 3 toy line, but it's not really very big. I mean, just to give you some idea of the size of this guy, here is the junior T-Rex from the original toy line. And you can see the React Attack T-Rex isn't really much bigger. He's only slightly bigger than the junior T-Rex. So I'd consider this kind of a juvenile. He's definitely not a fully grown Rex, especially compared to the T-Rexes we've had in other toy lines. Just to give you a bit more of an idea of the size, to compare him to a more recent toy, here he is next to the Carnotaurus, and you can see they're about the same size, so they're about to scale with each other. But really, obviously, the T-Rex should be bigger than the Carnotaurus, so I'd consider this a young T-Rex. Now, sculpting-wise, he's got a lot of detail, and this is one of the Hasbro toys, and Hasbro don't have a good reputation for Jurassic Park toys, especially if you look at the toys from Jurassic World. And a lot of the toys from Jurassic Park 3 weren't really that good. But this one's got a really nice level of detail to it with the sculpting. And I love the paint job as well. It's a green with a lot of black and brown striping. And I do like my green T-Rexes. He's made of a solid plastic, unlike most of the T-Rexes from the Jurassic Park and Lost World toy lines, which were real feel rubbery. This is very solid plastic. Look at this side. My only issue with the sculpt is that the battle damage you can't cover it up it's part of the sculpt there's nothing that clips over there to cover it up so it's basically constantly got a gaping wound in its side now the wound itself looks really good it's got all these kind of flaps of skin at the top there and the rib cage there and you can see all the, the red flesh i mean it's a really nice sculpting for the d for the uh, battle damage detail but i just don't like it being there all the time see so he's got the jp3 logo on his thigh there as well no numbers or anything articulation wise the legs both move back and forward like that and the arms both move up and down too you can see all the claws are painted which is nice now this arm here does move up and down but it also activates the mouth and a roaring action feature now if you want to if you pull the arm down in a certain way friction will hold the arm there and hold the mouth open so if you want to you can have him posed with his mouth open one thing about this guy's head sculpt though and i'm not sure how much this is going to show up on camera but one eye is lower down than the other. If you look at it head on, his eyes are kind of wonky. Where this eye here is up quite a bit higher than that eye there. So it looks a bit like the Toxic Avenger. Now he's in a very dynamic pose. He's got his tail's kind of swaying to the side there and curling upwards. He's got one leg that's posed further forward than the other, so he's kind of stepping forward. Now I wouldn't want him as my main T-Rex necessarily, but if you've got a collection of T-Rexes, he's a really nice addition because it's sometimes nice to have ones that are different sizes from the others. So you can have adult T-Rexes and juvenile T-Rexes and baby T-Rexes. And it's nice to have one that is in a bit of a different pose than your traditional T-Rex toy. I also like that he has one arm which, if I just focus that, is kind of facing inwards, his hand is facing inwards. Now nearly every T-Rex always has the hand facing down like that one, which is more accurate to how they would have been in real life. But just for the sake of having one that's a bit different, I kind of like that they've sculpted his hand in that position. It just makes him seem a bit unique from the others. 
Now, even though size-wise he's more along the lines of the action attack range in the Jurassic World toy line, um, with his action feature he actually seems more like Aurorivore. Because as well as this sound effect, he can also press this button in his battle damage and he cries out in pain. And if you stomp his feet, he makes a stomping sound. And it's kind of a tradition for Jurassic Park T-Rex toys to do that, because the red T-Rex in the original Jurassic Park line had the roaring and the stomping sound effects. And the thrash and throw T-Rex in the Mattel Jurassic World line has the roaring and stomping sound features. So I like that that's a kind of continuing trend through the movie toy lines. Now there were two versions of this released as part of the Jurassic Park 3 toy line, one which was quite a bit smaller, just slightly bigger than a sort of regular deluxe dinosaur, and this one, and this one is far better, the sculpting's a lot better on this one, and the battle damage looks nicer, and it's just more, a bit more to scale at least for a T-Rex, so if you're looking on eBay for one of these, make sure you're getting the right one and not the smaller version. And here he is compared to some of the other T-Rexes over the years from the first movie, second movie, third movie and the recent Jurassic World toy line. So you can see how much smaller he is so it definitely works as a juvenile. So that's the Jurassic Park 3 React Attack Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, thanks again everyone for watching and I'll catch you in the next video where I'll probably cover either the Carnotaurus or the Ceratosaurus from the recent Jurassic World toy line. So thanks again for watching and I'll catch you all next time.